Welcome to Gaming Fin, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the financial markets. And my friends, we have to talk about Square Enix Holdings, the Japanese gaming gaming company. They make games like Kingdom Hearts, and we're going to talk about this immediately. And of course, Final Fantasy and all of those incredible RPGs. So is Square Enix an interesting investment? I mean, that's the question you're going to ask yourself, especially if you thought like, yeah, I want to have uh, all, I want to have more and more Japanese gaming companies in my portfolio. Well, first of all, I think my friends, we have to check, of course, the United States dollar to Japanese yen. And then if we look here at the chart, so I think that's, yeah, that's the five-year chart. Then you see uh, you had to pay 157 uh, Japanese yen. Uh, now to get uh, one dollar this means this means my friend actually the Japanese yen is losing a lot of value so if the Japanese yen is losing value then getting some dollars is uh, normally interesting for uh, companies that are selling their games mostly also also in the uh, in the in the market internationally in the market so this is Square Enix PE ratio 35 but I uh, have some information it might be 20 it might be actually lower so those numbers are not correct we have a market cap of 546 billion japanese yen so now we have to recalculate this uh, it's interesting to see japanese employees 4700 so let's let's have a look here on the chart so this is the chart on five years so let's see where we are we are now with 4456 yen we are standing yeah, something, let's say something like in 2020, like 2020 or even 2019. So this is an interesting low. And I have to admit, my friends, I am invested in Square Enix and I bought it way higher. I bought it way higher. So I, if I would buy now, I would average down. So therefore, for me, the question is, is, is it worth now to average down or should I even wait that we go like to, let's say we go, uh, go back here that we would go like even to 4000 so there's still room to go even lower is there is there possibility we go to 3000 so of course my friends i don't have the crystal ball i am not the uh I'm not the person that can can look into the future, so it, it's more a question: uh, what games do we have, and what is going on with Square Enix in the future? So for this, I think it's now interesting to check out uh, uh, Steam here, Steam Square Enix. I mean, they have an incredible backlog. I mean, we have to we have to admit they have an incredible backlog, and they have now a Kingdom Hearts, uh, different Kingdom Hearts coming now to Steam after after their uh, exclusivity so this is like look look at this look at this backlog on steam alone i mean yeah okay yeah, a lot of dlcs but hey they make a lot of money and sometimes they bring out the same game again for another console and then they cash in and then also if we go here to the stats we can see uh, if actually kingdom hearts is already now a top selling game so so what's wrong actually with square enix i mean what is wrong with square enix so let's go here to the number is the um, yeah it's an overview of the earnings report for the fiscal year that ended the 31st of March and I'm going to read a little bit here so if this is not something that interests you then uh, thank you for watching guys so but I'm going to read this now so key figures so millions in yen so net sales net sales so this is a uh, three Let's say 343 ended uh, in 23, and now 356 for the one uh, of the fiscal year that ended now in 24. So actually a plus of 3.8%. You would say, yeah, why are you not going up? The operating income is down minus 26.6%. Ordinary income is down minus 24%. Profit attributable to owners of parent uh, minus 69% is also done so you see actually my friends eps earnings per share basic is 124 yen earnings per share so full year this is the full year so now we have the forecast so let's see for the forecast so for the forecast for next year actually we have a uh, we have a, a year on year change of minus 13 percent so you see actually the forecast is not very positive so it's even going lower therefore the stock is falling then we have 310 operating income is uh, going up which was actually going down uh, this year ordinary income is going down a little bit so that's the forecast 
profit attributable to to owners of the parent is coming back is going up so, and then they say here in the digital entertainment segment the hd high definition segment so that's the gaming segment net sales for the fiscal year uh, increased compared with the previous fiscal due to the release of titles including final fantasy 16 final fantasy pixel remaster dragon quest monsters the dark prince and final fantasy 7 rebirth however operating losses grew to grew due to higher development costs operating losses grew due to higher development costs amortization and advertising expenses so it, it simply became more expensive to make uh, new games as well as higher content valuation losses versus the previous uh, fiscal year content valuation losses so this is actually good i think this means that they're simply not selling enough so in the mmo uh, game sub segment uh, i don't have to explain this to you what it is net sales and profits decline compared with the previous year so we need a new final fantasy 14. in the games for smart device pc browser sub segment net sales and profits declined as well compared with the previous fiscal year as the june 2023 launch dragon quest champions and september 23 launch final fantasy 7 ever crisis were unable to compensate for factors including weak performances by existing titles also here not the performance they expected in the amusement segment i think this, those are little arcade machines the fiscal year ended uh net sales and profits increase compared with the previous fiscal year so people like to go in japan to the uh, to the arcade reflecting year-on-year -year growth in sales at existing arcades yeah well but that's not the it's not the big part of it in the publication segment net sales and profits increased in the fiscal year compared with the previous fiscal year da, 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 year on year growth in both print and digital sales so that's comic books etc mainly due to the hugely popular anime television adaptation of the apathetic to carry diaries never heard about this. merchandising segments of so t-shirts base caps <laughs> uh, profits also increase compared with the previous fiscal year largely due to brisk sales of new character merchandise from key ip franchises hmm. yeah that's all good so but what what counts is the h the hd definition segment so and now my friends i went to ask croc i went to ask croc so what's new with regard to this company to the stock so i asked croc and croc is telling us here so let's see can you see it read it according to latest financial results announced may 13th those those that i just told you uh, Square Enix Holdings report a strong performance. Yeah, that's not really correct. So the company has been focusing on creating new content and expanding its digital entertainment offerings. In 23, the company saw significant growth in its business stream by release of new titles and the increasing popularity of its existing franchise. Hmm. Significant growth. No, that's not significant growth. So this first paragraph is wrong. In terms of its stock's performance, and that's what we care about, Square Enix has been performing well. Yeah, it's a crida. As part of the latest data, the stock is trading at a reasonable valuation with a price to earnings ratio of around 20. The company has also announced a share repurchase program, which is expected to boost its stock price in the coming month. So, yeah, this share price program, I also heard uh, several times about this. And, and the PE ratio of 20 is actually now interesting. So overall, Square Enix is in a strong position with a solid pipeline of new games and a growing digital entertainment business. The company stocks is at a, is a good investment for those looking to for exposure to gaming and entertainment industry. And guys, that's very interesting. I'm really using Croc here. So I think I think due to this art uh, due to this statement here, uh, there are some parts that are actually not correct. So that's that's. Uh, and, and then then Grok is even giving you is even giving us a, a recommendation on the stock so it's actually hilarious so therefore take good care and i would say don't listen to the ai and you don't listen to youtubers because uh, you never know if this is actually correct so uh, all right so now we have some more data console dated financial re results yeah 3.8 percent uh, we set this already in the net sales operating income is in minus so in parentheses means it's negative so that's actually the same number so but here's more text here's more text so so before you invest into in this in this company 
I would recommend you to read a little bit more through this text that you understand tied to corporation square enix how all, all of this uh, uh, fits together but hey of course you can also just buy stocks on the basis of the chart because that's what most retail investors do and uh, i admit sometimes sometimes not always sometimes i also do this so so that's a big mistake so when we do this then actually most of the time we lose money so but the question here is in square enix um, do you think that's a stock that is the probability in 12 months let's put it like this that the stock is going to the upside from here or is it going to the downside so i'm at the point where i say ah, it's very difficult actually when i see this it it doesn't look so nice it really hurts actually because we broke through some sort of support so i would even think that there is a possibility that we go to the downside if nothing changes if nothing changes but in those stocks of course something mostly changes if the numbers get back then something changes here we go again yeah that's the same so changes are here fiscal year changes in net sets in net sets in billions in billions of yen operating income minus 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 so here now we have a bit more number number of employees number of employees so yeah here's the different the changes is now uh, 58 more um, employees so, and also a bit more capital expenditure consolidated statement of income also balance sheet cash so how to read it let's see how to read it. it's always important uh, cash and deposits cash and deposits positive up uh, content production account negative no it's positive yeah it's it's negative yeah on the year on year and liabilities income taxes notes and accounts payable the total liabilities are up as you see and consolidated financial results here again profits down partly on content production account valuation above the net losses so yeah croc was wrong my friend so don't listen to croc at the moment when it comes to financial <laughs> to financial help so that's very important digital entertainment this digital entertainment those are the games and then we have uh, amusement amusement parks that you see here publication so so i recommend you to read this all very carefully and with that i would say i'm leaving it here i think i think personally it's very interesting and i i mean i'm holding square enix already so i'm looking maybe to find a find a, a moment where i can uh, average down a little bit so maybe a little bit more like in the direction of four thousand because this looks very hurtful so most probably we will see a little bounce so on five year five yeah on one day 3.36 percent down on five year uh, you might see a little bounce and but it's it's it might not be a sustainable bounce to the upside so that's what i'm saying no financial advice retail investor myself this is for information and entertainment purposes only and my friends so don't buy anything you see on the internet or in youtube that someone talks about so most probably you lose all your money and then you say mr Orange, you told me the stock is great no guys i don't tell you this i don't tell you that the stock is great i'm just saying i am invested in what i might do in the future but if I'm really doing this, who knows? I mean, just a YouTuber. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.